Hi, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Crafternoon and today we're going to be working on tin ornaments and bracelet weaving. My name is Miss Claudia and before we start we're just going to go over some of the things that we're going to need to make our tin ornaments. Okay, so the materials that we're going to need are aluminum baking trays of a disposable kind, markers like sharpies or any type of permanent markers that you have, they just have to be the permanent type, or you could use acrylic paints and brushes, a pencil or a ballpoint pen, some scissors, tape, and yarn or ribbon. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have our baking tray. I realize that there are baking trays that don't have anything on the bottom. Mine has sort of these divisions, uh, but that doesn't matter. So here we have our scissors, and we're just gonna get started. Um, and just a warning, be very careful, have an adult help you with this part, with cutting the edges of the bacon, baking tray. Because they may be just a little sharp. And I'm not going to bother with cutting all the way around, I'm just going to cut it in chunks and here it is. Now we have that out of the way, we're going to move on to securing these edges that are a little sharp. So that's what we're going to need our tape for. So I have this blue paint tape and I'm just going to wrap the edges with this tape so we don't cut ourselves. Okay, so we're cutting that piece off and I want to do this um, by sides. So I'm going to carefully place it on top. I'm not going to press too hard on it and then I'm just going to fold it over the other side. Not trying to touch it too much. And we're going to do this with all of the sides. doing this so that we don't hurt ourselves and we're almost done here we have the last side of it it's a little tricky since the corners are rounded but it's fine okay there we have it so we're gonna move on to the next part which is finding a pattern you can find a design that you like for an ornament or I photocopied this one out of a book to help me find this project and I'm just gonna choose one. I'm going to cut them up and I'll, I'll, I'll pick one of them to show you guys how to make. And remember, um, these, you can um, use them as they are, or if you have a photocopy machine available to you, you can probably make the image bigger if you want something more larger. cut out. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the crocodile. Looks like a little fun guy. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of tape and we're gonna secure the tape on to the baking tray just so it doesn't move. Because the next step is tracing. I am gonna use this ballpoint pen and I'm just gonna go over all the lines on this pattern. Pressing down firmly so that it transfers to the other side or 
so that the imprint of the ballpoint pen goes through. And you can't see it from here, but the ink in this pen is blue, which is helping me distinguish which lines I've already gone over and which ones I still have to do. And so we're just going to continue going over all the lines. Until we're done. see um, I pretty much traced over the entire thing now we're gonna remove our tape and see what we have can you see the crocodile there are some details that didn't imprint as nicely so I'm just gonna use my ballpoint pen to go over it again now we are gonna cut along the edges and here we go so I already cut it out and all we have to do is use a hole, uh, hole puncher for that part later. Now we get to do another fun part, the part that I enjoy a lot and that's coloring. So I'm using this blue for the back of the crocodile or the crocodile's back and I want to combine that with some pink Later on, I think we're going to use some green. And now I'm just going over the leftover spaces with green. And I really like how this green looks on this aluminum baking tray. Remember, if you don't have permanent markers, you can always use acrylic paints. Today, this is just easier for me, and I'm really liking how it looks. We're almost done. Okay, there we're done. So all we have left is to do the hole. So here we go, we have a hole puncher. And right on top, we have this base that we're going to use. Remember to be careful. We need ask an adult for help. And, okay. There we have it. We have a little hole so we can use a little bit of yarn. 
insert it there and tie it around to be able to hang our ornament. And I have this pink piece of yarn that I think goes nicely. And that's it. You just, you just have to make a knot over it. Our next project we're gonna be doing some bracelet weaving and our list of materials isn't that long we just need four plastic drinking straws yarn and some scissors okay so we're gonna get started I have my yarn over here so this is the book that I've been using it has a lot of nifty little crafts and projects here is the yarn that I have today You can see I have a lot of straws, but we just need four. Okay, so to get started, we have our four straws already. And as you can see, they're the bendy kind. So I'm going to cut them at the point where they bend. We'll use those pieces later. We're gonna take these little parts and we're gonna cut them into smaller sizes. We need at least four. And think of it as cutting out beads. They're not beads, but they just need to be small. Okay, so we have our four parts. And we're gonna need a lot of patience for this next step because this is what the final product is supposed to look like as far as this section of our project goes. So we have our piece of yarn. We have to make sure it's very long, at least 80 inches. We're going to string that to the little piece of the straw and then we're going to pull it or push it through this, the other part of the straw. So remember we're going to practice having a lot of patience for this part of the project. Sort of just pushing it in, sort of moving it forward. And I have this paintbrush that has helped me get it out the other side. And we're just going to repeat this process. So we're just going to string the little piece of straw that we cut off and then thread it through the longer straw. When you see it on the other side, you just pull it through. Okay, so we have all four straws ready to go. We're gonna take the end of all the strings of the yarn and we're gonna loosely tie a knot here. loosely. See. It doesn't have to be too tight. Okay, so as you guys can see, I used the dark blue yarn for the inner part of our bracelet. So I'm going to take the other multicolored yarn and I'm going to tie a very small knot um, on one of the corner straws. So I just double knot it and we're going to cut as close as possible to the knot without having it break. And I'm going to show you how I initially started to make this bracelet because according to the book um, you just needed to hold it like that. If you manage to do this then you know that's great. Um, it gave me a little bit of trouble. So you'll see what I do later on. But the idea of this craft is just to go behind and over the straws over and over again.
I tried weaving the way this book explained it, um, but it was giving me a little trouble, so I decided to take a piece of tape, push up the yarn that I'm weaving, and just tape the very bottom of these straws together to hold them in place. Okay, now we're gonna start again. We're gonna start going over and under, and you push that down. Repeat the process, just keep on weaving, going behind and over, and pretty soon it's going to start looking like a bracelet. I found this craft to be uh, very fun and relaxing to do, just because of the repetitive task of going over and under the straws with your yarn. Something I forgot to mention earlier is that for the second uh, ball of yarn that you're going to be using to do the actual weaving, you're not going to cut it from the ball. You're just going to keep on uh, pulling it from there until the very end. take the yarn and you're just going to keep on pushing it down with the rest of the yarn that you've already woven. do is we're going to take this yarn on the corner straw. I cut it and I am going to tie a knot down to it. You can do that again. I do it twice just to make sure. Tie a knot around it. And just like the first string at the beginning, after you're finished tying this knot, um, you're gonna take your scissors and cut it as close as possible. Okay, now see if we can pull the strings on this side too. So what we're gonna do next is remove the tape. You're gonna use your 
scissors to cut through the tape carefully not to cut the yarn. I'm just going to cut a little and pull the rest. So now that we have the tape off, we're going to move to the next step. Um, so the side where we uh, tied up are not loosely, that's the part where we're going to be pushing our bracelet to. So we push it all the way over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to glide all the yarn this way and it's all together, and we're going to pull the pieces of straw out the other side. You want to do this slowly, ever so gently. I'll put that to the other side, and what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot on this side of the bracelet. So see, I'm going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do is tie another knot here. So now that we have that tied, um, you can see the bracelet. And we're going to cut off the excess yarn on the other side. And you actually have more material to make a second bracelet if you wanted to. Alright, so we're just going to take our scissors. I want to make sure it's more or less the same length as the other side. have it. And as you can see, you're already set up to make a second bracelet if you really wanted to. I'm just going to make a little knot here, that for later. So here's the final product of today's crafts. We have our tin ornament, Mr. Crocodile, and our woven bracelet. And I definitely had a lot of fun making these today, I hope. You guys will have fun too. So until next craft afternoon, stay safe. See you next time. Thank you.